Let's talk about Omniverse. The internet changed everything. It's surely an understatement. We are always connected now. The internet is essentially a digital overlay on the world. The overlay is largely 2D information, text, voice, images, video. But that's about to change. We now have the technology to create new 3D virtual worlds or model our physical world. These virtual worlds will obey the laws of physics or not. There can be AI or friends with you. We will jump from one world to another, like we do on the web with hypertext. Imagine you put on your glasses or headset and you're instantly in your home space. It has parts of your physical home recreated virtually. It has things that are only possible virtually. And it has an incredibly inspiring view of whatever you find most beautiful. Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just got to find something to wear. All right, perfect. This new world will be much larger than the physical world. We will buy and own 3D things, like we buy 2D songs and books today. We will buy, own, sell homes, furniture, cars, luxury goods, and art in this world. Creators will make more things in virtual worlds than they do in the physical world. We built Omniverse for builders of these virtual worlds. Some worlds will be built for gathering and games, but a great many will be built by scientists, creators, and companies. Virtual worlds will crop up like websites today. Omniverse is very different than a game engine. Omniverse is designed to be data center scale and hopefully someday planetary scale. And these are some of the basic concepts for the metaverse. And, and while this may sound like science fiction, we're starting to see a lot of these technologies coming together. In the next five or 10 years, a lot of this is going to be mainstream. And a lot of us will be creating and inhabiting worlds that are just as detailed and convincing as this one on a daily basis. So even though it's still a long way off, we're starting to work on some of these foundational concepts today. Horizon is the social platform that we're building for people to create and interact in the metaverse. One part of this is Horizon Home, which is our early vision for a home space in the metaverse. Horizon Home is the first thing that you'll see when you put on your Quest headset. Today, there are already a bunch of options to choose from, and in the future, anyone will be able to create one. We've just called it home until now because it's been missing something very important, people. Soon, we're going to be introducing a social version of home where you can invite your friends to join you as avatars. You'll be able to hang out, watch videos together and jump into apps together. Then there is Horizon Worlds, which is where you can build worlds and jump into them with people. Horizon is designed to make it possible for everyone to create. And we're already seeing people build some really interesting experiences from creating new games together to throwing surprise parties in VR that family and friends around the world can join. We started rolling out Horizon Worlds in beta last year, and we're adding more people and more worlds every day. The portal of Omniverse is USD, Universal Scene Description, essentially a digital wormhole that connects people and computers to Omniverse and for one Omniverse world to connect to another. USD is to Omniverse what HTML is to websites. Omniverse is futuristic. Omniverse can connect design worlds. Things created in the Adobe world can be connected to those in the Autodesk world through Omniverse, enabling designers to collaborate in a shared space. Changes by a designer in one world are updated for all connected designers, essentially like a cloud shared document for 3D design. Omniverse will revolutionize how the 40 million 3D designers in the world collaborate. Companies can build virtual factories and operate them with virtual robots in Omniverse. The virtual factories and robots are the digital twins of their physical replica. The physical version is the replica of the digital since they're produced from the digital original. Omniverse digital twins are where we will design train and continuously monitor robotics factories and buildings, warehouses, and cars of the future. Over the last year and a half, a lot of us who work in offices have gone remote, 
And while I miss seeing the people I work with, I think remote work is here to stay for a lot of people. So we're gonna need better tools to work together. Let's take a look at what working in the metaverse will be like. Imagine if you could be at the office without the commute. You would still have that sense of presence, shared physical space, those chance interactions that make your day all accessible from anywhere. Now imagine that you have your perfect work setup and you can actually do more than you could in your regular work setup. And on top of all that, you can keep wearing your favorite sweatpants. Looking good. Let's get together real quick for a debrief. I'm free now. Let's jump in. Hi. Hey. So what do we think? I think it's ready. Great. I'll prep it for the presentation. All right. Good luck. Imagine a space where you can tune out distractions and focus on the task at hand. And when you're ready to share what you've been working on, you can present it as if you're right there with the team. We are releasing a big update to Omniverse today with some exciting new features. Showroom, an Omniverse app for demos and samples that showcases core Omniverse technology, graphics, physics, materials, and AI. Farm, a systems layer that orchestrates the processing of batch jobs across multiple systems, workstations, servers, bare metal, or virtualized. Farm can be used for batch rendering, synthetic data generation for AI, or distributed computing. Omniverse AR streams graphics to phones or AR glasses. Omniverse VR is the world's first full-frame interactive ray-traced VR. Since launch last year, Omniverse has been downloaded 70,000 times by designers in 500 companies. Along with us, the community, companies, tool providers are building Omniverse connectors. There are 14 available now and 15 more coming soon. You can already see some of these elements in Horizon Workrooms, which we launched a couple of months ago. Later this year, we plan to introduce room customization so you can put your own logos and posters in your workrooms. We're also introducing a new office space in Horizon Home for when you want your perfect workspace to do some focused work or just cross a few things off your to-do list. We're also announcing 2D progressive web apps for the Quest Store. And as a new developer framework, so they're easier to build. So you can drop in and check on a work project while you're in VR using services like Dropbox, Slack, or stay connected with Facebook and Instagram. This starts bringing more of your 2D internet services into the metaverse.